Welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Rio Room Show. And I found something last week, and I kind of remember wanting to cross it before. And I'll tell you how in a few minutes, how I ran across it before. And I don't remember that I did a show on it, which I should have. So I'm doing a show on it. And if it's a repeat, it's a repeat. Sorry. Getting old, can't remember things. Anyway, this is the website. It's Radio for Everyone. And if you just type in RadioForEveryone.com, you'll get to this website. And it's tons and tons of information about RTL-SDR dongles and uh, software-defined radios in general. And it's just a wealth of information. It would take me an hour just to show you a full sampling so I'm just going to show you a little bit about this and then you can go there and read to your heart's content so if we go to about and we read the manifesto uh, here's where the gentleman tells him you know how these uh, website got started and the fact that he uh, he wrote this book which I don't remember if I reviewed that or not it's um uh, been out for a while and let me uh, let me click on the link here okay this takes you to Amazon and it turns out this is one of the many many books that ebooks that are available for free on Amazon now let me correct myself from the last show I didn't emphasize and somebody caught me I'm glad he did I didn't emphasize these books are free if you belong to the Kindle Unlimited subscription to Amazon, which is $9.95. I did two videos for the previous video, and one of them didn't turn out right, and I mentioned that several times. And when I did it, the second one, which is the one I released, I didn't mention that, so I want to correct myself there. You do have to pay the $9.95 or $0.99 um, a month to get these books free. And like I said, the previous version of that show, um, you can stop and start anytime. And it's you're, you're paying for it on a monthly basis. Uh, once you subscribe... It's going to charge you each month until you tell it to not charge you. And uh, what I had started to do a couple of times is I said, you know, I'm kind of caught up on books. Um, I'm going to cancel my subscription and then wait for a couple of months and then renew it. Well, every time I do that, I look for some books and I find a bunch of books and I'm like, I can't cancel because what happens is when you cancel it, whatever your books that you have checked out, they're gone. You can't read them anymore. So keep that in mind. Uh, thanks for the gentleman that reminded me that I didn't mention that in the, uh, the previous video that I released. So anyway, here it is. And I can read it now because I uh, have downloaded this. And this, I'm kind of in the middle of it here. I'm going to go to the front. Uh, let me see if we got to get the beginning of the index. Oh, I'm still on. Okay, there's the front. And you can see he has a ton of information, even on the Raspberry Pi using it with a dongle. So let's go back to his website. So you can get that book. You can get it for free. Um, it's $5 if you're if you're not a subscriber to Kindle Unlimited. Five, it's only $5. So let's go back. And so that, he tells, about, tells you about himself, how he got started doing this, and, all his, and the way he evaluates these uh, dongles. So let's go back and we'll pitch, uh, pick one. Uh, he does a lot of articles on using the dongles to receive the data from aircraft flying overhead. 
I'm uh, trying to find one. Uh, there's so many articles. Um, but there was one. Oh, my gosh. I thought it was right here at the top. Oh, maybe this is it. I just don't recognize the name. Okay, here is... This is just one of his articles. It's 19 dongle variations tested with a Raspberry Pi setup. That's, and it just, and he, look at them all. These are all the ones he tested. And he goes into a lot of details in his testing. I mean, he has uh, picture graphs where he's showing the, uh, the ranges that these things can pick up. The different ones. It it it's just amazing the information that he's provided. I I can't believe I didn't find it before. Maybe I did, and you know I forgot. Um, there was another one that I wanted to show you because there's so many of them. I can't find it. Uh, I think it was on, you know, a beginner's guide. Oh, I do not see it. Okay, that's all right. You can find it. But anyway, it was a another article he did uh, for people just starting out with these dongles. And like I say, his book is a very good book, too. I've read about a third of it, tons of information, a lot of test results. Uh, here's getting started. Here we go. Uh, here's getting started cheap and ex versus expensive. Talks about the, the dongles themselves. I mean, why uh, a ten dollar one has some shortcomings and, and stuff like that. And just, I mean, a wealth of information. If you want to get into using one of these TV dongles to receive. Uh, either shortwave or VHF and UHF, and you're new to this, this is the place to go. You could, there, I don't think there's any area that he doesn't cover. And here's even five easy mods. Oh, there's putting a, uh, making a base for the magnetic mounts to help um, with reception. Here's some actual mods to the hardware. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, I just want to show you this. Um, I, I apologize for not showing you this before. I'm sure I've been here before. But uh, I, got, I got it one of my emails on one of my Google search engines on shortwave and this page showed up. And so that's how I found it again, I believe. Well, uh, that's about it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. i got to remember to put his book in on my Amazon webpage if I haven't already. I haven't put too many books in it yet. i, I got to do that. Bye-bye.